On today's show, we give you all the latest update on what's going on with fashion today. The scary situation of Ebola and a recap on what's happening in pop culture today. Inside the Star starts now. Welcome to Inside the Stars. We are your host Kayla Negron and Aisha Watts. And on today's show, we have all the latest update on what's trending today. And we even have the newest segment on today's show that is coming up next. That's right, Naija. We are ready to hit some hard topics this time. Up next, we have the most trending issue that America is dealing with, and that is Ebola. Here is Shani Le Shannon Levy with the story on the rumor police. Ebola has been around for a while, but currently a new string of Ebola has set itself loose in Africa, and rumors say it's making its way here in the United States. Ebola travels through human contact. It kills 90% of its victims that it claims, and people who are more likely to get it are health workers, caretakers, people with weak immune systems, and anyone who has come in contact with someone with the virus. Two passengers, a man and his daughter, were pulled off a plane for investigation for having Ebola at Newark Airport. And we'll be right back after the break. And we're back. That's 2014's Emmy Awards' Wow the Crowd. From stunning dresses and suits to wildest looks, Kiki Palmer all the way to Sofia Vergara fashion statement always has it all. Now here's Beatrice Nakezia with the update. Hey guys, welcome to Fashion Statement. I'm your fashion adv advisor, Beatrice Nakezia. Miss the 2014 Emmy's Awards? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. From beautiful, from beautiful dresses to funny and ugly disasters, disasters I have it all. Kiki Palmer showed up at the 2014 Emmy Awards with a beautiful blue gown. She looked stunning. That blue dress fit her perfectly. Drew Scott, J.D. Scott, and Jonathan Silver Scott took the funniest red picture for the 2014 Emmy Awards. This picture was rated as the funniest picture. Sadly, our worst go dress goes to Lena Dunham. She looked kind of scared. She kind of scared us, and we could have expected something a little bit much better. And our best dress goes to Sofia Vergara. This white mermaid dress fit her perfectly with a curvy body. She always amazes on the red carpet. I'm Beatrice and Ketia, and this was Fashion Statement. Thank you, Beatrice, for that update on the Emmy's red carpet fashion. Today, we'd like to give you the latest update on what's going on in our pop culture today. Here's Nicole Getzia for the latest news. This week we have Gone Girl, based off the best-selling book starring Ben Affleck, has hit number one of the box office. It has brought in $38 million so far. Making its way right after Gone Girl, Annabelle is a runner-up at number two in box office. A long-awaited horror movie for all you horror lovers out there. You should go check it out if you like. Last but definitely not least, The Equalizer has taken its place as third of the box office this week. Check out these top movies and enjoy yourself. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame may be Green Day and Joanne Jett and the Blackhearts are just two of the 15 acts now eligible for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jett may have a good chance after all she loves rock and roll. Other possible inductees include guitar legend Stevie Ray Vaughan, Bill Withers, Nine Inch Nails, rap group NWA and Sting. Sting is already in the Hall of Fame with the police. Now he's trying his luck as a solo act. Who do you think should be in the Hall? Don't be an American idiot. Full at rockhall.com. You don't have to wait long to find out who's in and who's out. The class of 2015 will be announced in December. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We're your hosts, Kayla Negron. And I'm Naeja Watts, and this is the Inside of the Stars. Until next time. Bye. Bye.